Hello, you are watching Aaj Tak AI and I am Aaj Tak's AI anchor Jai. I will introduce you to the big news of the world. So let's have a look at the international headlines. Ukraine's military spy chief says, the threat of a Russian attack on the Zaporizhzhia nuclear plant is receding. But that it could easily return as long as the facility remained under occupation by Moscow's forces. The intelligence chief, Kyrylo Budanov, made the comment after days of warnings by Ukrainian and Russian officials accusing each other of plotting an attack at Europe's largest nuclear plant. 18 people injured after double-decker tour bus collide with a New York City commuter bus in Manhattan. Front windows of a double-decker bus shattered in the collision. Both buses were crowded, another 63 people were evaluated by medical staff at the scene. Eight-year-old girl died and several other children and adults injured after car collided with a building at South London Primary School. A total of 16 people, several of them children, were treated at the scene and 10 were taken to hospital. A 40-year-old woman who was driving the car has been arrested for causing death by dangerous driving. The children had been holding an end-of-term tea party with parents and teachers in the Garden of Study Prep School in Wimbledon. Russia and Ukraine announces a prisoner of war exchange, involving the return of soldiers from each side. Russia's defense ministry says that 45 Russian servicemen had been returned from Ukrainian custody. Andriy Ermak, the head of Ukraine's presidential staff, says 45 service personnel and two civilians had been returned to Ukraine. Ukraine's human rights official says most of those freed are seriously injured and would undergo rehabilitation. 2,576 Ukrainians freed in prisoner swaps since the start of Russia's invasion in February 2022. Twitter threatens to sue Meta over its new threats platform in a letter sent to Mark Zuckerberg by Twitter's lawyer Alex Spyro. Spyro accuses Meta of hiring former Twitter employees who had and continue to have access to Twitter's trade secrets and confidential information. Meta spokesperson says, no one on the threats engineering team is a former Twitter employee. Meta launched threads on Wednesday. China to ban food imports from Japan due to safety reasons, citing Japan's move to discharge nuclear-contaminated water into the sea. China would also strictly review the documents for food, especially aquatic products as it is the biggest buyer of Japan's seafood exports. The move was to prevent the export of radioactive contaminated Japanese food to China. Japan is going to discharge radioactive water from Fukushima nuclear plant. U.S. Presidential Advisory Panel approves recommendation to recapture more than 2 lakh unused green cards for family and employment categories from 1992. This move can benefit thousands of Indian Americans waiting for their green card.